Karen, I hear there's some shocking news you want to tell us today. Please fill me in. Greetings. Greetings, everybody. I was in the bathroom brushing my teeth when I woke up and I hear I always have my smart TV on in the morning. I hear Church of Scientology clear as a bell and I run out of the bathroom with my toothbrush and there's a scathing advertisement on Karen Bass, Congresswoman, a representative for District 37 for five terms. And she's running for mayor of Los Angeles. So her opposition, Rick Caruso, they both identify as Democrat. Rick Car this is a Rick Caruso paid ad. And it is scathing on the Church of Scientology because it shows how Karen Bass sucked up to Scientology and befriended it as a politician. Here's the first essay on Forbes magazine. This new Church of Scientology, this is an old building on Sunset Avenue, Los Angeles. It's not, <laughs> not a new Church of Scientology. Every few years, they do a new opening as if it's a new, new church. This new Church of Scientology is an exciting moment if we really want to change the world. Derek, instead of me reading it, would it be possible for you to just play the little video clip I sent you? As both a leader in our state legislature and a representative of Los Angeles, my goal has been a simple one, to actually make a difference. So that's why I first have to say that this day and this new church of Scientology is an exciting moment because I know your goal and your commitment is truly to make a difference. I believe that if we really want to change this world, it is important that we think about how we treat each other. We have to treat all people with the respect they are due as human beings, and we must fight against oppression wherever we may find it. That is why the words are exciting of your founder, L. Ron Hubbard, in the creed of the Church of Scientology, that all people of whatever race, color, or creed are created with equal rights. It's a remarkable credit to your church that this is part of your creed. The Church of Scientology, I know, has made a difference because your creed is a universal creed and one that speaks to all people everywhere. I look forward to helping you bring about the difference for everyone in the city, this golden state of California, and from here, the nation, and from the nation, the world. Thank you very much. Now, this goes from bad to worse. First, she endorses it while she's, this is just two years, just over two years ago. She's standing on the stage. There are a few hundred Scientologists there. And she talks about the exciting words of your founder has made a difference. Her staff didn't do any homework on the human trafficking, the abuse, the beatings, the kidnappings, holding a hostage, not letting people have free passage, the molestations, the children being made to do slave labor. There are five lawsuits right now. Going. Then she says, I look forward to helping you bring about the difference. She's going into the future of how she declares and attests she's going to help the cult going into the future. Whoa, mm. that caused some ripples. 
This was the dedication of the so-called new church was a rehash of the church being rededicated. And there's Karen Bass. Do you know that Karen Bass almost was made the VP? She made it to the final cut. And Kamala Harris and Karen Bass were, the, were in the finals. And Kamala Harris got it. Okay. So this did not go over well. And Business Insider had their say. They watched Scientology. Mm -hmm. Now, she then tries to do damage control because there's a hullabaloo, hullabaloo. And she goes, she hadn't been exposed to their darker side. That it, all this darkness must have been exposed lately. Rubbish. Lying. Karen Bass, you're lying. You, this came out two years ago. People have been, for 25, 30 years, they've been flooding the internet with the truth of the darker side of Scientology. So praising it, look at that. It says, the Church of Scientology, not much was known about the church's alleged abuse. This is two years ago. She's saying this two years ago, after 25 years of hundreds of reports. Then after Business Insider, The Hill, which is more, uh, <laughs> The Hill is um, capital, it's the capital at Washington, D.C. area. Now she's doing damage. She's correcting the explanation of why she endorsed and attended a Scientology event. And she said, oh, uh, uh, for another lie she gave is, I attended because it was in my district. What? Correction. She lied. Hollywood is not in her district. She's more in South LA, South Central LA. Nowhere near the boundary of Hollywood. Scientology is mainly in Hollywood. So <laughs> she's been, Adam Schiff is the representative of, of this district. She didn't know that she didn't represent the district. This is knee jerk line for damage control. So after the hill, I'm just, there's a huge amount of one after another, one after another. Uh, Daily Caller, I thought was next. You. Politi Daily, Call Daily Caller, the Daily Caller. Here she, and she's glowing about Scientology. She's not just saying, welcome to this new <clears throat> structure opening. She's praising Scientology as a congresswoman representative. Now, the next one, I believe, is Politico, is it? I got the uh, underground bunker. Ah, Tony Ortega's underground bunker. Nazanin, yeah. Nazanin was the pick for Tom Cruise's girlfriend when the church became a dating service to pimp for a girlfriend, sexual partner for Tom Cruise. And Nazanin was the final choice. I love how <laughs> I look at this tweet right here. Uh, Representative Bash, she tags her and says, your statement is insufficient given the countless people who have bravely come forward to expose their personal abuses by this organization abuses that amount to no less than oppression at a very large scale. That's powerful. And you know, Nazanin tries not to get too much into the Scientology thing. She, she's an actress. She's, she was in a HBO documentary series. I believe it was HBO. It was called Homeland Security. And she was, uh, she was the main actress. In it. Anyway, uh, so even Nazanin was offended and <laughs> yeah. moved forward. So 
You had a few I pictures. I don't making were... this video up. This, is, this being done spontaneously. It's because <laughs> this very, very scathing TV commercial um, was aired. And then I go to my Facebook group called Out of Banks. And my dear friend, Lawrence Woodcraft, beat me to the punch. And he says, well, I was on CNN. And there was a, a huge ad on this clown, Karen Bass, praising Scientology, the poster boy for human trafficking, slave labor, one of the most punitive, abusive cults around. And there's Karen Bass posing with David Miscavige. Spit my contempt. I could not be more contemptuous. Mm. <laughs> That's all. Just wanted you to know that both CNN and Fox, who knows what other channel, are airing the ad of Karen Bass sucking up to the abusive cult of Scientology. Mm. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care.